Hi, I'm Lucinda Statler. I'm the Urban Design Planner for the City of Columbia Planning Division, and I'm here to talk a little bit about Parking Day. Parking Day is a, an international event that started in San Francisco in 2005, and it was sort of a grassroots effort um, by a company called Rebar to um, activate parking spaces and try to make a point about how much of our city streets are taken over by cars and not by spaces for people and parks. It's really, it's open to anyone. We encourage anyone and everyone. We've had a lot of nonprofits in the past participate. We've had some private businesses. It can be anything from, you know, maybe a restaurant wants to put some, some extra tables and chairs or some plants out in front of their restaurant. We've had a lot of um, different um, arts organizations come and do um, actual inter um, interactive artwork, um, lots of different seating opportunities. And so it's really all over the map and we encourage everybody to just be creative and, and give it some thought and, and jump in there and do it. We already have a lot of pedestrian activity on Main Street, but it just makes that experience that much more interesting and, and actually gets people to think more about, you know, about public space and what, what other things we could do to enhance Main Street in terms of just having more spaces for people to just relax and you know, sit down and have their coffee and you know, seating and that sort of thing. There's an application process um, through the City Development Center and applications are due on August 15th. It's very easy, it's very inexpensive. There's actually not really a fee for the application, but part of the application process involves um, bagging the meter with parking services. So the cost of bagging a meter is $10 per space per day. So some parking day installations might be a couple of spaces, so that would be $20. But basically, um, there's a very simple ac application on the city's website, and it just involves um, picking your parking space or spaces, identifying you know, where those are, you know, Main Street between Lady and Washington. And then you have to write down the meter numbers that are in front of those spaces, um, sort of describe what you're planning to do in that space and what the materials are gonna be. You will need to have one person sort of responsible for that space and be there during that entire period. There is a liability insurance that's required, and this is a t standard for all temporary encroachments through the city. And for, for individuals who may want to do this or nonprofits who may not have access to that, um, One Columbia for Arts and History has been partnering with the city for the last couple of years to help provide that. So um, if anybody needs that covered, they should talk to Lee Snellgrove over at One Columbia and, and basically coordinate their application with his office and then he'll probably be able to sponsor that application. One thing we really like to encourage is that if people are going to um, utilize this day that they do more than just set up a table with pamphlets and you know it's, it's fine to have information available we really do want to people to engage with each other and and sort of you know create you know interactive activities and things like that or passive spaces, places that you, people can sit. There is a link on the city's um, website, which I think will be on the screen. It's on the um, planning division page. They can also call me directly. Um, I'm at 545-0229. And then the applications will go um, directly to an email address that's in the city planning division, which will also be on their website. So yeah, we're just real excited to be doing Parking Day for, for a fourth year in a row. We hope to continue doing it. And perhaps one day, this event, if it gets enough momentum, we might actually be able to come up with a parklet ordinance for the city, which would be more permanent um, opportunities for businesses and others to actually make a little bit more permanent installations in certain areas. So this, is, this could be a precursor to that. So um, we just encourage everybody to, to participate if they can, and if they can't, then at least come on the 21st and you know, find out where the spaces are. We'll have a map available of all the participants and just, just come and interact with all the, the folks who are participating.